Hi, I'm Dale Forbes, and I'm in the forests and grasslands of the Drakensberg Mountains in northeast South Africa in Mpumalanga province. And as soon as these early morning mists clear, we're going to have great views out all the way into the savannah and for a really lucky all the way out to Maputo. Understanding your camera's aperture settings is possibly one of the most important and useful things you can use while photographing. While photographing. Now, what it basically means is that the smaller the F number, the bigger the hole that lets through light into your camera's sensor. And then the, the bigger that number, the smaller that hole. Now what that means for your photography is that a big hole means that you can take very fast photos, but you have a very, very short depth of field. Now that's great for something like portrait photography or for digiscoping where you want to focus on a particular subject. With a big F number, a very small hole, you can have a very deep depth of field. So what I'm going to do is take a photo of the rocks here, first with 35 millimeters and on, let's see, F4.5. And I'm going to focus somewhere here. Now if I, oh, let's have a look at that photo. Now on the photo, I've got a very, very short little area that's in focus and everything behind is out of focus. Now if I bump that F all the way up to my maximum, which is 29 on this camera, focus on the same area. My shutter speed has dropped dramatically from 1 800th in the first photo to 1 20th in the second photo. But when I look in at it, I'm focused throughout much of the photo. So how does aperture affect your digiscoping? Well, I've set my camera up to aperture priority mode and then closed that aperture right down. And I focused on this moss covered tree just in front of me here. And my camera is giving me a shutter speed of four seconds. Now if I were then to close that, let's turn it off. I'm now going to open that aperture right up. Same image. My photo is now at one hundredth of a second. A lot faster. Now that's really going to make a difference to your digiscoping. So, Lots of people when they start digiscoping they'll use a sport priority mode so that the camera tries to give them a faster shutter speed. But what, what an aperture priority mode lets you do is to say okay make the aperture as wide as possible and then give me whatever fastest shutter speed I can for those conditions. That means that no matter where you are your camera will always give you the fastest possible speed to take your photo. And that's going to make a real difference because camera shake at 100th of a second and slower, that's really going to play a difference in your photos and you're going to start to see little vibrations, particularly if you're not using a delayed shutter. Such a beautiful morning.